Hi there, this is Toby Green, and you're listening to The Green Room with Tom Green and Jacob Gaynor. Stay tuned. Oh, coffee's for a week for that, mate. Six in a row. Look at that little smirk, Tom. Six in a row. Pretty exciting times if you're a Giants fan. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. Um, I mean, it's almost like when I say kind of annoying, because I feel like most other years we've got, what, like 14 wins now, so like... Finals should be guaranteed and like six in a row going into finals be thinking, wow, we're good. Like we miss the next, if we lose the next two weeks, we could miss finals. So it is really exciting. We're, we're going pretty well, but um, there's still a lot of work to do. Pretty remarkable. Third on the ladder, two games to go. Still could not make finals. Yeah, it is remarkable, but I think it just, it speaks to the uh, the equity of the competition. It's just very close, very even. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's scary. Well, there was even a stat the other day that was like, Round oh, five weeks ago, the top four was Sydney, Carlton, Collingwood, Essendon, and now those three teams might not even be in September. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gotten real quickly. It's, it's exciting, seriously, real quickly. It, it, yeah, for mutual spectators and for AFL fans in general, it just must be so exciting. I wish it wasn't this exciting. I wish we had booked finals five weeks ago and we were locked in. But um, no, it's very, it's very, very exciting to be a supporter. Now we can talk about the game, and we'll talk about it quite briefly. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. That was gross. That was a big one. Just a sneeze, mate. No, no but there's a there's a bit dripping. That's not. <laughs> uh, Do you want to, oh, no, I was going to anyway, go. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk about the game, mm. um, but as usual, and as is now tradition on in the green room, we have a guest. Yeah, and you know what we have uh, a knack of doing, I suppose. Mm-hmm. It's of drawing the biggest stars, and 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 the don't the, give it away, by the way. Yeah, I'm not giving it away. Right, good. But I'm saying we we, we managed to draw. The man or the woman of the moment. I feel. I feel we have a, a real knack of getting the person who who's trending right now. Who's you know just done something. There's massive. no question that we're relevant. Exactly. We keep ourselves relevant by getting those people who are relevant. And the man we've got today is uh, he's oh boy is he relevant? I didn't want to say, but wow. Yeah. Uh, now we won't say any names, mm. but let's talk about the game and the performance of some of our young stars. So I think it was. Darcy Jones, Aaron Cadman, James really, Peatling. James Peatling really stepped up when they needed to. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was very uh it was incredible. Um it was a very good I think I thought it was a you know, bar in the first quarter, which was obviously not the sort of footy we want to be playing. Um we played three quarters of really good football, uh, at a really tough venue against a really good side. So we take a lot of confidence out of that and we take even more confidence out of the fact that um, you know, young players, young stars that are uh, finding their feet and establishing themselves at the level are able to stand up in the biggest moments, and it's a credit to to those boys and the work that they do. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was super being able to uh, watch them take their moments and and execute under that sort of pressure, and it it gives us all so much confidence. You know, we we already have great confidence going into you know the rest of the year and hopefully finals that when our moments come, we'll be able to take them. Um, and you know, they, they keep you know we, I suppose we keep pre- proving each other right. We saw it on the weekend again with those three guys. So. Two questions for you before we welcome our guest. Yep. What was the the mindset at quarter time? <laughs> Honestly, because last so last week against Hawthorne, you said that like that belief of that last quarter, it almost like you know you're never out of the game. At quarter time, you're down thirty one or thirty three to one or whatever it was. What's the mindset? Honest answer. My initial first thought was, geez, I hope this doesn't blow out to 10 goals. <laughs> I hope really Which it could have. Yeah, I really hope we don't lose by 10 goals today. Um, and so, you know, in doing that, you've just got to screw your guts up a bit. Like, you can't be thinking about the end of the game. Like, down by five goals that quickly and in that sort of manner, we were, you know, you can't exactly be thinking about winning the game there. So, initially, it was, geez, I hope we don't lose by 10 goals. And then, yeah, we start to wrestle the momentum back and we end up, you know, getting within a kick or two at certain points in that second or third quarter. And so I thought, you know, we're every chance here. And I think every team knows, as I said last week, five goals isn't enough against us. I, I don't want to keep testing teams to see how bit, what <laughs> I don't like the, it. the size of the margin that we can come back from. But yeah, it, it does seem like any deficit we can we can overcome. And we do ju- truly believe that. And as I said last week, I, I, think, uh, I think other teams believe that too. I think for the casual viewer, it's so exciting watching those games. Like I think it was, there was a stat about a certain amount of games 
that teams had come back from a three quarter time. Throwing out these, there was this stat. Can we get some actual stats out of you instead of just these these random statements? I've got some stats for you. Tom <laughs> Green is averaging four clangers a game. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? No, no, I don't have that. Yeah, probably. I more. don't have stats. Yeah. Um, um, no, but did you? My second question before we welcome our guest, yeah. who is patiently sitting behind the camera, beaming. Uh, <laughs> He's beaming. And before we mention him, when we had our last guest was the girls, so yeah. Jess and Caitlin, Little Miss Chatterbox, future and Little Miss Chatterbox, future future podcast hosts, Maybe. Um, started rough. We'll see how they <laughs> go. Uh, Can only go up. But as soon as they got in front of the bright lights, boy, did they crumble. Mm, they did. And I'm interested to see how our guest goes with these lights today. Very interested. Yeah, he's a very. Uh, it is. We do have a guy today. He's a very. Uh, very jovial guy, very very charismatic, very, very big happy, smile. big smile, yeah. Sort of larrikin sort of character. So it'll be interesting to see if the, a, these bright lights do get to him as well. Yeah, not afraid of the big stage and now has delivered on the big stage, but there's no pressure like in the green room. So the, that's the biggest stage right there. I tell you what, those lights are bright. <laughs> they certainly do. The, they focus the in on The big green it. neon light behind you as well. Good luck. It's big. Uh, but before we, before we get that, did you mean or did you see Darcy Jones with that? handball towards the end of the game or was that a hit and hope i'd be i think it's selling me short to say that's a hit and hope really <laughs> yeah well like because you weren't looking at darcy yeah i was we yeah i knew when i picked the ball up as well i thought i'm not gonna have enough time to kick here or i'm not sure if i do i know i'm under a lot of pressure and as i get the ball and pick it up and look i saw you can't miss him yeah well i mean he's the kid with the lid we can see him up and there, bright but, boots yeah and he's also i saw a meter of split i thought that's enough. If I can get this in front of him, he'll turn his man, and he did, and he kicked the goal. And we saw it with his second goal too. Lightning. You know, it's it's hard to say that it's not good defence because he wasn't that far off him, but a metre's too much because he's quick and his turning circle is tight. So quick. Mm. I'd love to know what was going through Darcy's head when he kicked those goals. Part of me thinks like he was fully focused. The other half of me thinks, and he's a friend of the in the green room. He's been in. Uh, he would have been before. thinking, "How good am I?" No, I'm, <laughs> I reckon he's thinking, "I'm hitting 12k on Instagram today." <laughs> I genuinely think he's believing that. Yeah. There's there's part of that in him. Um, all right, should we get to the guest? Yeah, mate. Let's get him on. Okay, so as per usual, I've got a little introduction. Yeah. So we're gonna make him sit there while I read it. And then we'll get you on, okay? So you? Okay. Well, we've had some big names already feature on In the Green Room. The likes of Josh Kelly, Jack Steele, and Caitlin Sir Hoy stand out. But it is no doubt our biggest guest yet. He's not the biggest name. He's genuinely just our biggest guest yet. He stands at 1.95 metres, according to his Wikipedia page. He was selected with the first pick of the 2022 NAB AFL draft, although he is best known for being best friends with the milkman, a.k.a. Jason Gilby. Fresh off his best performance at AFL level, please welcome to In the Green Room, Aaron Cadman. The young man, Aaron Cadman. He's on his way. Quickly gives Toby Green every chance. He can see a way to go. Did he kick it? Did he kick it? Scores a level. The young man was confident enough to go left foot banana and whack it through. Aaron, welcome to In the Green Room. Just having a few little technical yeah. difficulties here, go. sorting out his uh, Thank you. Sorry. sorting out the headphones. Yeah. How's that? That was a good little intro. You're um, welcome. I didn't. I didn't like that. Like, the commentating on that goal, that banana. Did he kick it? <laughs> yeah. Did he kick it? <laughs> yeah. I don't think the commentators are there though. I think they watch on broadcast from Melbourne. Hey, I don't know. Really? So they don't really know. Like you're your first one that hit the post. They were calling goal. Yeah. Because they're not there. They don't can't see. I, mean, I, I thought that was a goal. I thought it was a goal. So the I, the snicko, whatever they call it. I think it was, it was ground, small. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. If that hit. Did you I think it hit know. the the post? I like honestly no idea. But he I turned thought, already. I thought me and Jesse <laughs> <laughs> The hand was up He he's had mid run back we'll to the centre sweat. Let's keep that up there for you. There we go. Um no, nah, but as soon as like it, when they reviewed it, I was like I thought it was a goal. I the Brisbane either. players turned towards like the middle of the ground. Mm. Like they thought Yeah, it, yeah, that's why that's yeah. why I was stuck the middle. Which normally gives it away. Um yeah. but Aaron, welcome. This is yeah. pretty big. We haven't seriously big. This is like the pinnacle, really. 
Like you're peaking pretty early. Really? Yeah, in the green room. <laughs> I don't want to say that. That's not the peak. Yeah, that's selling <laughs> <Yeah>. short. <laughs> no, I mean for the podcast. <laughs> We're peaking. Um, how was the weekend? Been uh, inundated with media requests and content. Uh, how have you found the week? No, well, it was the weekend was super exciting, I think. Um, I think like everyone says, like, oh, yeah, I, like I had my game. But I think, like, our forward line, like, it, we have so many good players in there. Like, it's just – we saw last week against the Hawks, like, it was Jesse, you, even Toby, like, anyone could step up any given week. So, like, I think, like, that's a real testament to our forward line and, like, the players we got down there. But, yeah, it was just my turn. I was just happy that I stepped up, really, so – uh, before we get into to some of the fun, some of the questions and some special features, uh, we're going to go through a little bit about your journey because I know there's a fair bit out there about um, what you've achieved already and where you've come from, but I think for Giants fans, it's a great opportunity. Um, and for any listeners of In The Green Room, we're pretty diverse. Mm. Uh, it's a great opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. So do you want to, I guess, take us all the way back to when you first started playing footy, where you're from and how you got to the Giants? Yeah, so basically... Started playing footy when I was young. I didn't even know what age, but I was kick coming through. I was kick, um, and then played my juniors at Darley Footy Club. Shout out Darley, um, the Devils. Yeah, the Devils. <laughs> How do you know the Devils? Because I've seen this. There stuff. you go. Um, <laughs> no, the Devils. Same as Zach Butters um, and Brett Bewley. So, um, yeah, played my juniors through there. Played what two senior games at Darley. I was like growing up. I was like. Okay, I was just like, I was just like. Didn't you grow kid. late? Didn't you have a big growth spurt late? Yeah, I wouldn't say like a big growth spurt, but like I was always like a little bit taller, and then I did have a little bit of a growth spurt when I was probably like sixteen or so, and then um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to make my way into like like I always made the into league in the rep squads, and then from um, your young age, like you're always in. Yeah, there. yeah, but like fringe, yeah. like <laughs> I'd be you know like not the, the first name. I was the two like in the twos in the rep squads. Like okay, yeah. So, like, I was I was okay. And then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, it was lucky enough to get selected in the Rebels. And then there was, like, this game, um, this Vic Country tryout where I reckon my career literally, like, to flip the switch. Like, I just – I was, I was, this is when I was playing on the wing and I just had an unbelievable day in the trial and then they said to me, they're like, oh, like, don't even bother playing in the next one. Like you're in, I was like, wow. this is crazy. <laughs> when, like when when I got asked to try out, I thought, oh, this is the peak of footy. Like, yeah. I'm trying out, <laughs> and then I made it. So like, yeah, and then from there, it just that's when I started playing a little bit of forward, and um, yeah, the next the next year after that, in my 18th year, um, they threw me down forward and at the Rebels, and yeah, it's just it worked out well, I guess, and here I am. When was the the first time you kind of heard the idea of number one pick? Um, I'm not really sure. It, it was like, um, so like me and my coach at the Rebels had li- like this thing and he would say, um, he said early in the season, he's like, all right, you're at pick 60. How do you get pick 59? And then the next week he'd say, all right, oh, you kick four. So you're at pick 40. How do you get to pick 39? And then, so it just kept going down and then it ended up getting to like, there was rumors going around that the, that big mega trade would go through and then everyone was pretty certain that i'd go to the giants and like i still hadn't still hadn't known and then um yeah the the trade went through and giants came to my house kingers came to the house and just said do you want to know and then i was like yeah and then they're like do you want to go pick one or pick two and i was like are you serious like, <laughs> give me a pick one so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, no one remembers two. that's pretty easy what was it what was it like meeting kingers for the first time it was so pretty awkward. intimidating man it was so awkward <laughs> <laughs> it was just like because like he's like a bit of a hard nut to crack yeah. um, well, once you crack him he's yeah but once you crack him he's good but like it was just he's just like he's just announced to me that i'm going to pick one i'm like thanks so excited and he's like Yep, 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 like straight back, <laughs> nothing. So uh, it was a bit, nah, it was, it was, yeah, it was a pretty cool day. So when the, the mega trade went through, there was obviously, yeah, the rumours were pretty accurate, but the rumours were there that the Giants were trading pick one for you. They wanted a key forward and they really liked your versatility. When the trade went through, were you thinking like, I'm like before the Giants came to you, were you thinking you were coming here or did you like, what was this, the discussions prior to that? I always thought the Giants were like the, 
Because you would have like, spoken to yeah, every club, I, really. I spoke to, yeah, basically every club. So I, I always thought the Giants were, like, the most interested from, like, day one. Um, matter of fact, they were my first interview. So I always thought they were the mo- most interested. And then, yeah, and then when the trade went through and, like, Cal Toomey, the wizard, doing all these <laughs> things, um, yeah, I, th- I was like, yeah, I'm, I must be going. And then, yeah, it was, like, the hardest week of my life trying to hold it in the week before the draft. Like, yeah. I just wanted to go and tell everyone. Like, <laughs> Did you tell anyone? Like, obviously your family. Uh, and you. Yeah, I told my family, like a couple of my mates. Um, but like, I remember I went to like a party or something, and like this guy. <laughs> you want to be dropping no, it? There. No, <laughs> I, I, I hey, didn't. Drop I'm going one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I went to this party. Do like, there was like, this guy like arguing with me. Yeah, and he was like calling me a nobody or something. And I was like, you so just, I tempted to drop it. Like, you just <laughs> wait a week. You just wait a week. Yeah. Wait till Wednesday, seven <laughs> thirty. No, it actually just would have been too cold. You should have DM'd no. him afterwards, like, hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Wait till it happens and DM him. Yeah. You should have told way, us. We would have tagged him on the club account. <laughs> yeah, I literally told him. I was, like, I was like, you just wait, mate. You just <laughs> uh, I guess with the pressure of being a number one pick, like there's pressure regardless. If you're a first round draftee, there's pressure to deliver, but it's probably. Amplified when you're the number one pick. It's not probably, it definitely is. Yeah. Well, no you wouldn't know, mate. You picked 10. Yeah. yeah Easy. <laughs> Slid, though. Yeah. Ju- Academy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. No. <laughs> he didn't slide. Don't give him that. Mate, he um, told me this. Yeah, yeah I know yeah, he told you that. <laughs> it is facts. You didn't slide, mate. You're lucky to be top I was 10 a bolter. Pick. I was you a bolter. Was not <laughs> a bolt. Uh, but yeah, when, when your name is read out, and obviously it's a little bit different it being in a Sydney environment compared to the Melbourne environment and the Victorian bubble. But the pressure, is that something that sits well with you or how do you sit with that? I think, like, I think going number one to Sydney obviously helps a lot. Um, like, obviously, no one, like, footy's a lot different here um, than it is in Melbourne. Um, so I think that helped a lot. Like, there's a little bit, I think it's more pressure. I put pressure on myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I got s- such high expectations. And then sometimes, like, I'd, early days, I did think, like, I'd, I don't know, like after the first preseason, and like I'd be getting, like, we'd do these contested marking drills, and I'd be getting, like, flogged. And like, I'd walk off the track on, mate, like, what are you doing? Like, mm. you'll pick one. You're like, you, you got to do this. You're better than this. You're better than that. And then, and you're then. You're almost I'd, in a rush to be the best. Yeah. Like, I was so impatient. I think that's what I've learned a lot um, patience, but I was so impatient, like, wanted to become the best I could be as quick as I could be, which is a good thing. But like, it's just like, it was weighing on my mind a bit. And then like, just like chats with like lads, like forward line coach and King is Polly Penner, like just like, just help me build a little bit of patience and just like, just keep believing that like, it's going to come. It's going to come. I know like the type of player that I can be, it's just like, it, it literally takes time like in, in the position that I am in. So it is a bit annoying, but like, I think the pressure, like it's slowly comes in and on and off, but like I'd, it, overall, it doesn't really affect me, I don't think. Um, and I don't really worry about it too much. Like, I think there is a bit of added pressure in the media, but like internally that's kind of gone. And like around the club, like it doesn't matter if you go pick one or pick like the last pick in the draft. No one, like, it doesn't matter at all here. Yeah, no one cares at all. But it is funny. It's great perspective, particularly, I think it's very impressive, Cads, like how you have that perspective at such a young age because I was like – I'm very much – I've always loved the way that you answer these questions, like here, but also when you get asked in the media, you get asked similar questions like that. And I always love the way you answer them because you, you have great self-confidence that you need to have. But one thing that I've always felt when I say bad for you, I suppose, like you're playing the hardest position on the ground. Like key forward is undoubtedly the hardest position on the ground. And then I <laughs> I feel so bad for you and Rico as well who have to second ruck. Like you guys aren't ruckmen, but you have to second ruck, which is also such a hard thing to do, particularly if you ruck against – big dudes like you're doing these tough roles and you particularly drafted as a 18 year old you're 19 in your first year now 20 in your second year like it's tough stuff it just does literally take time for your body to get used to it and to get big enough because as you said as well in your first year you come in and you're like i need to be winning these contested marks but you're like Sam Taylor is literally the yeah. best defender in the competition. <laughs> yeah. like, it's not. It's not like you're versing scrubs and like Connor Iden's one of the best one on one on yeah. one defenders in the comp. Phil Davis has been one of the best keybacks in the comp forever. Like these are the people that you're coming up against in your first year too. So I get that it can be tough because you want to be the best straight away, but you're right. Like it, it is tough and it does take time. And just to be able to have that perspective though at such a young age is very impressive. But 
it is also like the reason that you will be such a great player is the fact that you want to be the best and you want to be the best quickly. Just on your first year, I guess you you played 12 games, which is pretty special in your first year. Did you, what was the the thinking towards the end of last year when you'd kind of fallen back out of the side? Obviously, we had a lot of success last year and we went into the final series and you didn't play. What was your mindset at that time? Yeah, that was killing me, like watching the finals and not playing in it, especially like that last game that we lost by a point like that. Like you just you just what, wonder what would happen if I was playing. Like it's obviously like I had like I, I don't think I like Keefe definitely deserved and Ricky like over me. Like I was playing shit and like I wasn't consistent in the contest. So like like it's fair enough, but like you always wonder what would happen if I wasn't like if I was in there. So like it was tough. Um, but like I just all I wanted like I just wanted the next preseason. I just wanted to get to work and I just wanted to like build and just like get bigger, get stronger, get faster, get fitter and just like show like what I am capable of because I didn't think that anyone had really seen it yet. And I don't think I'd, I was able to show that. So I was just like keen to get back and just like um, basically just try like cement myself a position in the team and show my worth really. You did an article, uh, I read an article about you a couple of weeks ago and that you compared yourself to Jamari Eagle Hagen and kind of his journey, which is very similar to you. Obviously a, a young kid who's pretty raw, a big uh, key body, a uh, key full forward, sorry, key forward. <laughs> a uh, big body key forward? Big body key forward, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. uh, do, is there any other players that you kind of look at or compare yourself to? Um, I think someone who I can really relate to here at the club, like Jesse Hogan for sure. I think um, I've had a few conversations with him about all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I think Jamar is a big one. Um, he's obviously like very similar, as you said um, to me, like um, coming through number one pick and just like the obviously he had a bit more pressure on him than I do me. But um, yeah, just like the way he handles things and the way he's going about it now, like he's dominating, like especially the last couple of weeks he's taken – Yes, so mm. yeah, I, th- I think like hopefully I can get to the stage that he's at even sooner than that. So um, yeah, it's exciting, very exciting. And moving to Sydney, how'd you find it? How'd you settle in? And how did the likes of Tom help you settle in? <laughs> Tom didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shock me. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> not nope, true. That's how, fair. How, how quickly did we have the young boys over to Yule Street? Oh yeah, yeah see, yeah, oh, that's yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. slander. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Ricky and I opened the house up in you Bondi did. after you the it to, to everybody. No, but, but we also had the one um, before you, mate. two dinners in two years. No, it was not dinners. It was actually just a few boys over a few drinks. It was <laughs> after the cricket games that we had, but yeah. also remember the, after the first week back, we had everyone over. Did you not come? You didn't want to come. I didn't think I was invited. This is when oh, we don't want to. Awkward. No, you definitely were invited. Maybe you just didn't choose. I to I would come. have been there, mate. I would have been there. And this is when. Do you remember we won the quad? You just when Australia beat Denmark as well in the World Cup. Mate, we I went to Beach Road after that. that. No, I'm telling you, were. Oh, Tom, you're just digging yourself a big hole, man. Yeah. No, no. Unless, I, re- anyway. I don't reckon the first years are invited to that. No, no, no. You were, maybe you guys weren't drafted yet. I think I was actually having oh. this discussion now that maybe this was the week before yeah, you no, were drafted. We, yeah, or we wouldn't have been. We wouldn't be drafted. Yet. Oh, so you're doing heaps for the draft days, though, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no, nah, they get drafted. <laughs> no, that, that I can't was actually a really good day after the cricket game, though. Yeah, going back to yours. That was great. Anyway, the point is, we helps. We <laughs> helped settle in, mate. <laughs> no, but how did you find settling into Sydney? No, Sydney, like it's great. I thought, like, um. I think it's kind of good how like the club almost throws us in the deep end. You just got to like, you basically fight for yourselves and, and learn. Like they set everything up, like they're really helpful, but you really got to learn all like the basics. Of, you got to grow up living. pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, you grow up pretty quick, which I was pretty lucky because like, I worked, I was a sparky before I got drafted. So um, yeah, I grew up, I was already like, I already had experience like living out of home and stuff and just like growing up a bit, but um. Yeah, I think like we got thrown into a house as me, Gilbs, and and Grew. So it was, it was a funny <laughs> ass yeah, household. Um, <laughs> no, it was it was it no was washing, just good. buying new clothes every day. Oh, no. oh. Uber Eats. No, I was I was actually massive on that. I hated Uber Eats. Really? I used to, yeah. Well, we ha- we were on um, Hello Fresh, so that Helps. was that was so handy. But um, what do you do now? I eat out way too much. I'd <laughs> Uber Eats. Like cook mm, twice. Three times, like maybe. What do you What do you cook? Oh, it depends what you're feeling, really. Like it's just like 
satay chicken, like stir fries. Nice. Um, Yum. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, chili con carne. Like yeah. Today. Yeah. Just like the base is nothing hard. Just like, you know. But no, nah, I thought. What like, does Faisy cook? <laughs> Mate, <laughs> Faisy wouldn't know where the kitchen is. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Faisy, right? He just has every meal he has is like mince, taco seasoning, and, and steamed veggies, like microwave steamed veggies. That's it. Oh, and rice. He puts it all. I mean, I saw him, he had a container this big full of, <laughs> full of rice, mince, and steamed veggies, and he just like he bring it out, warm it up. Take a couple of bites, put it back in the fridge. Yeah, it's not right. It doesn't shock he, me. It doesn't he, shock yeah, me. That's though. He gets sick. You can't oh, no, put it in the I fridge. Know, you can't and then reheat I, it over yeah. and over. That, that's not just a rinse and repeat uh, the same I meal. Know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> he was drafted the year before you, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, with yeah. Finn and, yeah. Uh, you might need to teach like, him a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. He's a worry, Fazy. This is taco meat. It's funny, though. That's gross. We need some chicken. All right, well, we're going to get into some questions. You ready? Go for it. Hit me. All right, so there's some questions here for Tom and myself. There's some questions here for you. Um, are you ready? Ready. Boys, who do you think will make the All-Australian squad? Out of? The Giants. Giants. Jesse's a given. Hogs and Witters, definitely. Witters. You? I'd like to. Well, I mean, yeah. like you should be in the squad. So, I think you're I definitely know, yeah. in the squad. I think Brent Daniels should be in the squad yeah, too. Well, I think. Oh uh, yeah, there's pretty. I think Brent Daniels like in the team, almost. If he's like if because they, they go off a bit of stats, don't they? So like I was I was talking, I was talking to someone the other day. Like he's the game where he got subbed out will hurt him a little bit. Mm. It's like my game where I got. Did three he get subbed out? He, yeah, he, he was the sub, he was, but he didn't oh, get used. Oh, against, oh, against Brisbane, oh, yeah, oh, he didn't yeah, get used. He was an unused sub. Yeah. Which was – it's all – like, he's obviously had a, a pass where he's been injured quite a bit. He was so that, good to go for that game. He though. was ready yeah. to go, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But I think that was a very good thing that he didn't come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, didn't, not didn't needing need him, him game, it was yeah. a blessing in disguise. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah well, he I, should yeah. be in it, for Hoag, sure. Hogs is a lock. He's going to win the Coleman. Yeah, um, touch wood. Yeah, touch wood. Um, I think Whittles will be in it too. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. He's second blazer, I think. Yeah, it would be yeah. a second. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. After that, I'd like, like, hopefully, we we'll won't see. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, being, I a, being a right might be close. Yeah, being a big sniff, you'll be a sniff. And then, every, like, half our midfielders haven't played enough games. Josh Kelly's missed too much. Yeah. Sam Taylor's missed too much. Yeah. Cogs has Cogs even, missed yeah. too much. Mm. Wait and see. It'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's always a fun time of year when that comes out. Mm. They never get it right. <laughs> <laughs> never. Uh, what is an instrument you wish you could play? Can I, you play any cats? Uh, no, nah, nah, I can't. Like I've I've tested guitar, water in in a couple places, like <laughs> piano and really a little bit of guitar, like lay ages ages ago. That's about it. What do you What do you wish you could play? I uh, I used to play actually until year twelve. I was having this discussion at lunch. I played the trumpet. Really? Yeah, played the trumpet up until year well, 12, did music. So Do you hear that in the Green Room Fans? Tom's going to give us a live rendition of no, the Big Sounds. I certainly <laughs> am not. But, uh, yeah, so I played the trumpet up until year 12, so I don't wish I could play that because I can. <laughs> When's the last time you played the trumpet? It's a random yeah, the year 12. Like five well, did you pick ago. that? Uh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I guess it's pretty... Like, in it's a very hard in instrument, isn't it? Oh, it's not... Like, I feel like it's like most instruments in terms of, like, it's kind of hard. Like, it depends how much yeah, you practice, yeah, basically. yeah. 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 Um, what do I wish I could play the piano? Just, mm. just whip it out. You see, like those videos of those guys playing the piano, yeah. and like it's ridiculous. Being a yeah. pianist is yeah, yeah, very good. I'm gonna say saxophone. That's cool too. Sax it's just a cool, cool instrument. It is. Oh. You, like, you can't just you can't just whip oh, it out. About about to to Mate, I actually did play saxophone. <laughs> did you? Year seven and eight. Alto oh, like or I'd, tenor? Tenor. Yeah, pretty I was deal, no eh? good at it. Yeah, tenor is a big one. Alto is a small one. But like. That's just a random ass instrument, <laughs> <laughs> but it's such a cool I'm instrument. To be <laughs> no, well, what do you want me to say? Guitar, like everyone else. Nah, well, I think or piano. That's fun. Play like yeah, I. I'd, I'd say guitar because like imagine me and like cool on the guitar. Like oh, my, my brother's just like, around a campfire. Nah, not even that. Like, <laughs> my, when are you pulling brother, out a guitar? No, nah, like just like my brother just whips it out. He's good on like electric. Mm. And stuff And it's just like So sick Like you know He plays something He goes oh I won't tell you And I go oh That's that song And nice. like, it's just cool uh, What is your most Embarrassing date story You'd have a few Tom No actually Honestly I I don't You've never had a bad date 
Well, like I've had, yeah, like I actually wouldn't say I've had a bad date, I don't think. I think most of the dates that I've gone on have been pretty good. Like there's some that you have. a great record. You don't like, when I say. You don't enjoy yourself as much. Yeah, but I don't That's think. That's not I've, embarrassing though. Yeah, I haven't had an embarrassing one where like stuff's gone terribly or like, I don't know. I feel like everyone I've gone on has been to some extent. You've ex- never like done success. anything or said anything bad? No. Really? I think I'm pretty measured. Bulletproof. I think I'm pretty measured, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you are an experienced dater. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, with the dates that I've been on, I think they've all gone pretty well. Like, yeah, nothing embarrassing. Has Is that like a one sided, like? Yeah, well, as in, I can only go from my end. Yeah. I, I would think if you were to ask the girls that I've gone on dates with, I think they would also agree. Give me a list. But Next week, know. we'll go through it. <laughs> Cads? Really one by one. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the phone. Hey, uh, this hey is, uh, Jacob from in the green room here. Um, <laughs> we're just on a like? survey. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I don't, like, honestly, I don't think I've been on many dates. Like, I've got a, I've had a girlfriend the last 10 months now, so. I don't, Shout I, out to Ali. Lovely, yeah. lovely girl. Yep. She is. Lovely, lovely girl. There's some um, questions about Ali later on. Really? Yep. From Ali? Not from <laughs> Ali. <laughs> she was going to write all these <laughs> questions. I was like, don't. She should have. <laughs> no, but like, I reckon in my time, like, including Ali, I reckon I've been on like three. Including Ali? Like, including Ali. Like a, oh, a like date with Ali. Before. Like, yeah, you, before yeah. Ali. Like, so you've been on th- three dates <laughs> since, since you, ten, you've been dating months. 10 months. Can you start taking her out for dinner, please? <laughs> 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 no, nah, yeah, but like, oh, with like random... Yeah, I was like three, <laughs> three days. <laughs> I reckon. No, nice. Not even. Um, Any bad ones though? No, nah, no bad ones. <laughs> well, Every so. date's a good date. Yeah. How about you, Jacob? Uh, yeah. You tell us. Yeah. Any embarrassing ones? This also isn't even loaded. I actually don't even know. Like, it, well, the uh, way I yeah, asked that sounded, sounded like loaded, I had a story. I don't know if you um, have or not. I feel like you would. You're pretty. Witty, I've got some though. stories. I can't say. I've also. Yeah. I broke my thumb on, on a, a date. date. Really? Yeah. How? Went to. Uh, I tried to like be really romantic and took took her to a waterfall and there was like, I was meant to be like, I hid like a picnic in the boot. Like it was going to be really yeah. nice. And then went on this walk. Who's the lucky lady? She was meant to be the one. I'll not disclose that. The one that got <laughs> uh, That's uh, in the green room exclusives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got to pay. Like, yeah. You got to yeah. Behind, yeah. Behind like, the paywall. <laughs> 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 um, went on this walk and there was like a waterfall and I was like, let's go down there. And this is in Canberra and Sydney. In like Central Coast, yeah, so okay. like drove nice. up. Yeah. So it was like meant to be a really nice day. Mm. Um, and then walked down to this waterfall, and you could like walk behind it. Yeah, so like really romantic. Oh, like nice. I was like, I, you I pulled out all the stuff. Yes, I hadn't well, seen the waterfall before, really so I was like, this is incredible. Like this is incredible. Yeah. And then I saw like a log, like wedged into oh. some rocks, and I just thought like, I, I just want to pu- I just push it. No, I just want to push the log down the water. I don't know why, but you know when you just like see a rock, yeah. Weird, right? Uh, I was just like, I want to push it down the lake. <laughs> I just want to see what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing exactly it just float down the river, but I wanted yeah, to do it. Yeah. So I went to pick it up and then slipped, fell on my thumb, broke oh, it. Oh, no. And there's not, you can't recover was from it, that. Was it like, like falling in front of yeah, someone is the biggest thing. And yeah. was it, were you like in agonizing pain straight away? You're like, oh. No, so I stayed with her for the next four or five hours. Like, and was oh, it I'm ki- fine. Like, killing fine. the whole time? Yeah, the whole oh, time. My hand was shaking. Yeah, you would have put it up. Oh, no, I'm good. Dropped her home. I was like, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Straight to hospital. <laughs> Did you get any like grazes? Like no, a little bit of a blood one, and I I got a phobia of blood, so I felt a bit woozy. Um, but yeah, not it wasn't many dates after that. Didn't really <laughs> recover. Damn. Didn't that's really actually recover. really sad because that's a great date. Oh, great date. I'm romantic. Well out. Yeah. yeah, I wish I was. Why don't we go back to it? Are you romantic? No, I wish. What I was. What would you say like if we ask Ali what's the most romantic thing you've done for her? I'm very forgetful. Um. It's not a great start. Yeah, it's not a it's great pretty start. pretty tough to just do a question. Just like, no, it is. As well. No, but like if I was to rate myself romantic out of 10, I'd be a four. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm, I don't know why. I'm just. No, just, some people just yeah, don't like that. I, just, I wish I was. I, I'm so jealous of people who, who are romantic. Yeah. Um, oh, come to me with some date ideas because yeah. I've got plenty oh, of ideas mate, and no dates. Through, please. I think I'm reasonably that. romantic. I think I'm like thoughtful mm-hmm. I th- in, in terms of. Yeah, I like that. Like things like on a date or. I don't know. I or just like you I, remember little things, yeah. little no, details. Yeah, no, I do. I'm very good at that. I think I'm thoughtful. Yeah. I don't know if I like, I don't know what, what people, some people consider romantic and I think that's different to different people, yeah. but yeah. I'd say I'm reasonably romantic. That's nice. Well, whilst we're on this topic, mm-hmm. so Cads, I know you're a big listener of the pod, uh, but just in case you missed last week's episode, yeah. uh, <laughs> man, man, we gave Tom a hard time for potentially going on a date in Canberra. Oh, uh, so we have a question here. 
following on from Tom's date last week. Who's this question come from? I didn't write the name. I don't know all about Can you dates. write the name? Yeah, yeah, from now on I will. Yeah. Cats, this is just like a, yeah. Yeah. Like a dating like a, show. Yeah. <laughs> this is Alex, not what it's about. This yeah. happens every week. <laughs> no. uh, what does your dream wedding look like, Tom? <laughs> you know what? I, like when I've thought about this before, I actually don't care. I just want a big wedding. Like I want, I think. A big, big party. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Other than that, like I'm, like if, particularly if my future wife has a lot of things that she wants at a wedding, I'm happy to go with yeah. the flow. There's not, there's not a lot that I, I want or feel like I need to have at my it's wedding. good answer. I just want it to be big and fun. And if there's things that she wants, then we can do that. Follow-up question. Yep. Would you let me be the celebrant? No. I have one of my- We're here today. You'd make no. it all about <laughs> well, you. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> one of my great uncles is a priest anyway, so he's oh. definitely doing it. Like oh, he baptised nice. me and he's done all of my like- oh. He's done all of my sacraments. Oh. Yep. Um, and so I would love him to marry me. I'm sure he would like to as well, but I would yeah, love for him, him to uh, marry me as well. Okay. That's nice. This is actually an interesting question. What are your thoughts on the proposed wild card round? I personally, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I just think we've had it's like the playing tournament in the um, bas in the NBA too. Yeah. Like they have eighty two games to figure out where they're seated. We have twenty three weeks, like on twenty three games. Sorry, why? What's another going to do? Like I get that the, again, like even season, mm -hmm. maybe there's some appeal, and I get it's pretty good for neutral viewers, this that whatever, but like. We do so much hard work to like find a good position. If what if you finish seventh and you've ground so hard to get that all year, and then you lose the tenth and you're tenth. out of the finals? Yeah, it would, uh, yeah, I 100 percent agree with that. That's my exact view. Okay, before we get to some questions for Cads, what celebrity would you want to coach the team for a week? <laughs> I'm gonna say, mine's obvious. I'm gonna say Kevin Hart. That's yeah. I feel like Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler Adam would be Sandler funny. Or like Will Smith. Will Smith would be scary. Yeah. Adam slash. Sandler would be like pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Adam Sandler would be. And Adam like Sandler's also a big basketball head. Yeah. Like yeah. He's a bit of a sport head. Yeah, I'm thinking of like, he's. I feel like he's high IQ. Yeah. Like I'm thinking long Yeah, game plan. He'd be yeah, very. Game plan. I don't know who I'd want to coach us. King is his bed. Like, oh, oh, no, but, come off it. No, you know what? King is is a clown. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's our clip for the week. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know who I'd want. Like, what does that even mean? Like, I'm not going to listen to anything they say. Yeah, true. True, that's a... Why do you have to, like, just yeah. take the fun out of a question? Kat well, and I had some fun. Yeah. Said some celebrities we <laughs> liked. And you're... Uh, okay, just just say, Dua, Dua Lipa. Lipa. Yeah, Dua Lipa. Yeah. Hey. I knew you were going to go there. I knew. Mate, well, like, what do you want from me? You like, would get nothing done. You wouldn't hear a yeah, thing well, I'm she not gonna, said. Yeah, okay. Well, you already spent enough I'm not gonna time. Listen to Adam, office, I'm not going to listen to Adam Sandler anyway. What's he going to tell me? You Try with, hard, dude. You with Dua He doesn't know anything about fighting. No, no, I can't give away our game plan. Dua Lipa. Hey, coach, and another one-on-one. Can we have men? Um, all right, Cads, got some questions for you. Yep. And we're going to start. They know, how do you have questions for Cads if the viewers didn't know Cads was coming on? Because I did that separate yeah, Instagram he, box that said questions for Aaron Cadman. Oh, did didn't you? Didn't say where we no, were answering them. Uh, it was pretty obvious that I was coming on though. You posted oh, I thought so, 100 yeah. times this week. <laughs> you're, Mate, I was just- You're welcome. Up to, I went up to him earlier and <laughs> I was like, you got to chill. You stopped posting <laughs> me, man. <laughs> Even Font, Font, Font and Pally came up to me and he's like, very he's yeah, going Yeah, media up, team's like, going hard. <laughs> hey, all I'm going to say is numbers are up. And I don't care about how you feel. I'm caring about my numbers and my numbers are looking pretty good. Uh, but we got a special, a special question yep. from a very special person. Maybe ask him, ask Cads about the time where he went on his first date with his lovely girlfriend, now Ali. They went on a first date and I can't remember where it was, but obviously in Sydney you don't really get recognised as a footballer and Aaron was lucky enough, which could have been fate that he had two kids come up to him when he had first met this new Ali and asked him for a pick and he come home and thought he was one of the biggest dogs of all time. And I was getting right around him for that reason, but um, ask him about that and how he was feeling after that, <laughs> coming home, being asked for a pick. So a massive thank you to <laughs> Jason, right, AKA Milkman Gilby. Like, wow. He was quick with it too. Yeah, I said, wow, can you send through some questions? And he replied yeah. like that. So, so special thanks to Gilbs for sending that through. We miss you. Yeah, miss you lots. Uh, is it true? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wait, like, so we went, um, this is when Vivid was on mm -hmm. last year. So like, I, I took it a Vivid because I, 
we were going to catch up for coffee and then I was like, oh, let's do something a bit more interesting. Went to Vivid. It was it was all right. It was pretty nice. Um, so we were just like walking around and then like there was these two kids um, and like they just like stopped and looked at me and they're like, oh, you're Cadman. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, I, yeah. I hadn't been recognised in Sydney like maybe once before that mm. and they're like you're cadman and i was like yeah sure <laughs> am. like i am did you act like it happens all the time sorry about this <laughs> no i was I, I i did i was like oh this never happens but like it was it was just like the perfect moment and like it couldn't have happened any time you, this, like, <laughs> this is the first time i've met ali like oh first the, date yeah this is the first date like first day that i'd met her like wow, I just that's a flex up. isn't it yeah and i was like she must think i'm like, Big dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I was what did she say up. after? <laughs> oh, she was just like, she was just like, oh, what the hell? And I was like, I'd like, I grabbed the, the kids like, oh, can I get a phone? And I was like, oh, hell, you mind if you take this <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> so, so good. No, nah, that was great. She was, she was like, oh, what the hell? But no, nah, after it, like talking about it now, we've, we've spoken about it. And she's like, I thought you big loser. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was almost a turn off. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Like it's too famous yeah. <laughs> Too famous uh, Did you pick the number five? I did I did Well it was like It was, was either two or five And I Like my rebels Playing for the Greater Western Victoria Rebels um, I was number five anyway So it was a pretty easy pick Straight okay. away Because Shout out to Tanner <laughs> Yeah so here's the thing <laughs> The recruitment team When they were looking into you Yeah uh, They were like Yep Cads is in, like he wants to come here, perfect. He's not a flight risk, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but they were like, he wants number five. And they were really hesitant because the five is cursed here. Because I think really? Tan had left before him, Jai Cordwood had left. And I think before Dylan Shield Shiel before yeah. that had left. So they You're were right. a bit worried about it. And then when you re signed last year, <laughs> stoked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird one because I, I didn't demand the number five. No. Like I was just like, they're like, oh, what number were you want? And I knew this is when Tanner just left. And I was mm. like, yeah, number, number five. Number five. It's a bit like, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Did you pick 12, Tom? Uh, 12 was free because Johnny Patton just went to Hawthorne. And yeah, like I had. as what like were the options? Anime, uh, seven was free as well, which is Ashy. Mm -hmm. um, they were like sort of the lower numbers that were free. But um, so 12 fits you perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked 12 as well because. I feel like I've set, told this before, but my cousin who had just like in my 18th year, um, he'd passed away over in the US That's and right, when yeah. he played footy, he was 13 over there because he loved Odell Beckham Jr. and because he couldn't be 12. But when he was here playing footy when he was younger, he was 12 because Richmond supporters growing up and he loved Matthew Richardson. Oh, there you go. He loved Richo, yeah. yeah. So his, his AFL number was 12, his football, like NFL number was 13. So yeah, when 12 was free, it just worked out perfectly and could have gone seven, but 12 it is for me. Nice. nice. Cads, this was this question was asked a lot. Okay. Why don't you caption your Instagram posts? <laughs> There's no reason behind it. It's just like... It's a no, just but, it, but, it, but admit, it's a thing now. No, it's, it's, it's 100% like, it's a thing. I'm happy that it's caught on as a thing. Because you don't like, have to caption I, your photos. I just honestly, like, I just don't care for it. And, like, I think it's, like, funny as... Have you seen John Cena's Instagram? How he yeah, just how he just posts He just posts random, random, random shit. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't caption anything. Like, it's just unexplainable stuff, like, random ass yeah. memes and stuff. It's like... Oh, I haven't seen that Things before, for no. your... Imagination like, open to interpretation or something. Yeah. That's his thing. Like, it's just like, you yeah, right. caption it what you want. Like Yeah, like, so it'd be like, if it was Giants themed, say we just won on the weekend and say it's like me. It'd be me posting a photo of Cads with nothing. Yeah. yeah. No, I get or that. Or a helmet or something. Like, it'd be something random. Yeah, it's open to everyone's interpretation. But I reckon, like, I like actually thinking of clever captions. I think I'm a pretty, yeah, I think I'm pretty enough. decent at my captions, but. A lot of yours are inside jokes though. Don't, that's don't, what they're you good. Can't don't do. have time you for can't it. Do no, you, mate, jokes. you can't classy. have inside jokes with 10,000 followers. Because everyone doesn't know it. Yeah, but they're, they're not often that in, like inside yeah. jokey. But they're just. I, I actually like my captions. I like doing captions. Mm, same. My last one, I went captionless though. I think. I think people Cold. with like that have well structured Instagram with cool captions is actually like a really cool thing. But like, I just, mm. I just don't care for them. Yeah. Enough there, yeah. That, that I. And it's, it's a talent. Time thinking about it's a talent. Yeah, Finn like, Callahan struggles. I do all the Finns. He even asked me for captions. I don't yeah, know, he's bad. Captions. He's a bot. Darcy, <laughs> Darcy, the other day. Yeah, he's yeah. like another I sent him a bot. list. I sent him a I list. Yeah. Another bot didn't even post. My <laughs> captions obviously weren't great. Um, what's your go-to meal before a game? Uh, I'm not really 
fuss, to be honest. It's just like some sort of pasta. I don't, I'm not really superstitious. Really? Nothing? Nothing really. It's just like, like I, I tape my wrists also. I tape my wrists like, like it is just because, like it's mm. not, not really because my wrists are sore. Like, don't write anything on it? Uh, sometimes I can't actually say what I write on them though. Nice. Like, I write on most games. Now there's going to be thousands <laughs> of people looking at your wrists this weekend. Yeah, well, I hope they don't because no. You can't look at whatever. Just I write, write it smaller this way. Yeah, um, but no, like yeah, just any sort of pasta, lasagna, like anything like that. Guzman, I don't mind that if mm. we've got a home game. Um, yeah, I don't really mind. I'm not too not too picky. Like it. All right, we're gonna get into some red light, green light. You ready? Do you know what red light, green light is? You can be honest. I don't. Okay, so the game is. That will say something. What's an example we've used before, Tom? So let's say... Why can't I think of anything we've done? Well, a random one would be like, this is a bad one, but like brushing your teeth in the shower. Red light, oh, green light. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. so, so yeah, red yeah, light yeah. is you I don't do it. Green yeah, light is gotcha, you do it. Gotcha. Um, which we found out when we did this a few weeks ago. Tom doesn't brush his teeth in the morning. No, not if I'm going to have breakfast at like... No, I do Brushing I do your teeth before breakfast is not at the level. that. But sometimes I'm, no, but if I'm actually very consi- inconsistent in the morning. Sometimes I do it when I get to club. Sometimes I like, you brush your teeth at the club. Lots of people do. Yeah, lots of people do. We get here at like seven yeah, in the morning. Yeah, you like like But you don't. Like, sometimes I, I just don't feel clean unless I've brushed my teeth. I don't yeah, think you're a clown. I think I'm normal. Something that you're that that disgusting. C- that I can't do. He doesn't shower in like in the morning. In the morning, I just shower at night. Yeah, we've talked with that was a red light green light before. I cannot do that. So you're a two shower a day. Yeah, you are, if not more, if you yeah, can. if not more, yeah. But like, say you're I have yeah, you're at to home shower in the morning. Like when I get up, I have to shower. Even if I, if I'm ten minutes late and I gotta leave, I'm still showering. Like, really, I have I, to but I, Do you sweat when you sleep? Like I don't sweat when I sleep. Sometimes I break not really. I'm I wake up smelling fresh as a daisy, lads. It's, I don't know what you clowns yeah, are no, doing. It's, it's not smelly it's not, breath. It's not the smell. It's just like the my hair's everywhere. I brush my teeth. What do you mean? I'm, my before I go to bed, my breath isn't smelling. I'm waking up like a class act. <laughs> All right, red light, green light. Sing out loud at concerts. It's this is a uh, shout out to Zelly. This is Zelly's, isn't it? Yep. And when I didn't do it last week and got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's green. I think it's f- like it's alright. I'm going to say depending on how right. loud you are. Yeah, like, I guess. Don't uh, if I'm singing. If I'm hearing Post Malone, I want to hear Post Malone. Yeah. I don't want to hear you in my ear. That's true. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a, g- a green light, but, you know. But keep it down. Yeah. I'll say green as well. I feel like, yeah, it's green, but then when you see, like, those videos of people oh. filming and you can hear you them. You can only hear them. And it's just, yeah. That's, that's a red, red light. You know the the fiend one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's almost a red light, green light. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost a green light, red light, green light in itself is the filming at concerts. Well, I, I, like you don't want to just like be you know the people that post the whole concert the whole on their story. Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah, that's, that's hang on, red. hang on. But he's also a different thing. If you're going to film it just for yourself, that's fine. But if you're going to film it and post the whole thing on your story, you're a clown. You know we have to keep going. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. It takes fifteen clicks to get through. All right, wearing different coloured boots. <laughs> Someone having oh, a shot of uh, oh, the wizard yeah, from the oh, other week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it. Uh, I think it's a red light for me. Oh, I actually, don't really care that much. I was gonna say like, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I don't know so if I'd do it either. But but I think it's actually a green. If you can pull it off, I think I'm here for it. Yeah, like I don't. Must I don't have, have a big game. I don't. Nah, even then, I don't have an issue with stuff like that. But it's I, like I wouldn't do it either because I like the yeah. uniformity of the same color yeah. boots. Dating apps. Red light. Never had one. Red light. Red. I don't like them. I've got a girlfriend. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Uh, starting your assignment on the day it's due. Green light, done it. It's not like when I say, yeah, oh, I don't want to be doing it, but in terms yeah, of like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Wanna, you don't, yeah. yeah, you don't want to be doing it, but everyone, yeah. well, most, yeah, a lot fair. of people do it. So green. Hitting the pedestrian crossing button more than once. <laughs> okay, well, not green. hitting a pedestrian, yeah, so Tom. <laughs> hitting a pedestrian, <laughs> green. <laughs> um, yeah, who, green. <laughs> who presses it, yeah, once. Yeah. It's like, no you matter what, you're just pressing it till it goes fine. green. No, you just give it a few bangs. Yeah, then. yeah, it speeds it up. Yeah, if you're standing it, like you get the kids that just stand yeah. there and smack it, then that's <laughs> hey, that's okay, smack Shut up now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the game early if your team is losing. Biggest red light. Really? You see, people, biggest red really, light. I think Depends. I'm a bit of a red light. As in, I don't do it. But like my when I used to go to and watch Richmond as a kid, 
Like my grandfather would do it, my dad would do it. Like they would be like, if we're getting smacked, they'd be like, go. But I, I don't think I like doing that. I'm like, yeah. well, we've come. Like, let's just stay. Mm. I hate it. No, well, like if you're gonna stay, like it just makes the good times yeah. so much better. That's what I'm saying. I, I think, I, mate, I'm with you. I think it's yeah. a red light. Yeah, well, true. you just told us you left games early. He's a Richmond no, fan. Okay, as a child, yeah, when I'm with child. my father, Richmond were pretty. Stay there. I am not leaving. Richmond were pretty. Unsuccessful when you were growing yeah, up. Yeah, so you would have left a couple of games. You're, yeah. What were you? Richmond fan Richmond, as well. Yeah, Tigers. Tigers as well. Wow. Yeah, well, I was. I lived. So like, you would have had a bit of a successful. Yeah, end yeah, yeah. I the ex- successful tenure. and yeah, but like I lived like an hour from like from Melbourne. So every time I'd go to a game, if we weren't losing, I was trying to get out there as out of there as yeah. uh, if we weren't winning, I was home. trying to get home as quickly as possible. So yeah, I'd I suppose miss, that's a little so bit I'd miss the traffic, and like we would drive there. Like parking this thing, so like it was like, if we're if there's ten minutes left and we're down by thirty points, I'm gone. Yeah, changing. No, not if you're watching the Giants, so <laughs> thirty points. On yeah, the, we'll yeah. we'll get it back. <laughs> yeah. You can't See, be leaving Giants way. games early. Yeah, and it's <laughs> happened before. Uh, changing teams you support. Red, massive red light. That red, massive red. Unless no, no, hear me out. <laughs> what I will say is we had a couple of questions from like. Carlton, Collingwood, Essendon supporters that might not necessarily now be featuring in September, wanting to jump ship. Is that okay? Yeah, but, but they're not permanently I'm going to say jump- it's only okay the, if you come to the Giants. But <laughs> they're also not permanently jumping to us. If they, they want might. to, if they want to, feel free, but I know they're not. I reckon a few last year would have permanently changed. No. Success, hilarious social media team. No, uh, definitely not. Um, no, there would be a few. Yeah. People would have changed. We're only 15 years or 14 years old. Yeah, Some people so supported people, other people clubs. Yeah, watched, that's yeah. fine, but like, or is that different? Because we're if you're ch- no, no, yeah. if you're changing because of success, that's then different. I don't, no, that's I don't yeah, like I agree. That. That's true. But saying that, like in general, I'm Tasmanians gonna, are going to want to go for the Tassie team. Yeah, that's changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's changing. But that, yeah. that's fine. That's like fine, I changed yeah. purely because the Giants play in Canberra. No, yeah, you were a Swans fan before, which is not at the level. Yeah, big Swans fan growing up. Now, big loser. Yeah, actually, now it's a mutual hate. Uh, all right, last one. Setting multiple alarms. Red. For me, yeah, it's a red light. I'm just one and done. Yeah. Do you press snooze or do you stop? No. Nah, well, I hit snooze as soon as I can because I'm like, I hate the noise, but I'm straight up. Yeah. Because I'm like, bang, snooze, and then compose Couple myself more for breaths, a yeah. minute or two, yeah. and then I write them up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm the exact same. But actually, today was the first time I'd actually click snooze in like, a year I really reckon. really like i just clicked sm- snooze this morning because i knew knew i wasn't in a rush like i had yeah. a lot of time yeah i had like an hour to get ready so i was just like i'd put it i snooze it for the first time in ages i like there it you there you go, go. What are the odds? all right should we get to your favorite segment tom song of the week yep. yeah let's do it song of the week all right we gave cad some homework he's got a song as well i'm gonna go first because my song's already up go man uh, let me know what you think. I'm not going to say the name until afterwards. Okay. It's been a crazy last year. I'm trying to process still. I don't even know how I should feel. I got a couple big houses and some wish maybe three. And I got family. Thoughts? Uh, I think it came out today or yesterday. Oh, who is it? It's the Kid Leroy, Kid Leroy. Australia's oh. own. That's actually nice. I like the side of it. It's a good it. album. I do like the side of it. Uh, Baby, I'm back. The Kid Leroy. Give it a listen. Yeah, sure. There it's you actually, go. I'm you actually might nice. enjoy it. Yeah, I'm not a massive Kid Leroy it. fan though, but yeah, really, I, like I love him. I'm on and off, but I do like him. I, do I like, like a lot of his stuff. I went and I didn't went. In, I didn't go and see him. He was a special guest when Post Malone was here, mm. and he was unreal. Yeah, right. Really liked him. Very yeah. like just an Aussie kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he doesn't really think about what he says, but he just says yeah, it. I like Respect. That. I like that. A lot of phasey about him actually. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of phasey about him. <laughs> <laughs> looks like chicken hair. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a great shout. All right, Tom, this is yours. Yeah, get it's uh we actually play it first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you're always I when I when I, hear it. when I play rap, he's really scared of the lyrics. No, because something's <laughs> oh, gonna come up and then. 
yeah. who has to edit it? Tom yeah. has to go <laughs> home. <laughs> I'm there going. Dip, dip, um, dip. Anyway, so we just heard the little start of that, but that's called Get nice Lucky. Beat. Yeah, Get Lucky by V's, and the, yeah, the beat is clean. Um, and I just I really like that song. It's just I only found it I think maybe like a day or two ago, but I've been bumping it a lot. I really really like it. You really and like that genre. Yeah. Like How nice is the beat there though? Yeah, was the beat nice not just? Are you similar cool? to Tom like in that kind of taste of music? I like literally everything. Really, country. Everything. Everything. Mm. Yeah, welcome. Tom <laughs> hates country. Yeah, not me. Really, hates it's it. Not me. Like By the way, it. Post Malone's album dropping on the sixteenth. If you want to give that a listen, Tom. Mm. Oh, country album. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay, no, then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just an all album. <laughs> Uh, Cads, what do you got for us? Um, I'm going a different way to used to. I'm mm-hmm. going um, semi charmed life by third semi charmed life. Third eye blind. Yeah, you know, like it's just like a it's off like. You know. Sounds like a Jacob Gaynor song. Does sound that. like a Jacob Gaynor song. Just like makes you smile. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Know. Is that your goal song? No. no. It should be. That's a What tune. is your goal song? I don't know. Um, is it Run This Town? I don't know. Jay-Z? I, don't, I, don't know I think. Up. I think. You should oh. change it to that. That would go that off. That is a good one. <laughs> that is a good song, by Straight the way. Straight after I you like kick a goal. That's a good song. That would be like... <laughs> where was it? This after kicking a goal? <laughs> Everyone in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is a good song. I, I like, like that. that. Maybe next year. Great yeah. debut. Mm. That's that better is. than any song Tom's brought this year. No, nah, it's not. <laughs> um, all right, Tom. Shall we get on to the next segment, Jacob? Oh, I've never <laughs> been more excited for anything You're- in my life. So, for context, before we get to it, last oh, week. Shouldn't, shouldn't we do... We'll press the button first. Yeah, break. Okay, sorry, mate. <laughs> do you need the first bit? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. okay. So, for some context. Yeah. Normally, I do a poem each and every week. They're pretty good. Are you also doing one? No. No, no, no. Just um, so we've challenged Tom. Tom said he'd do it in the 20th episode. We're now in episode 24, and he's finally delivered. Anyway, the point about this is, right, so Cads has even heard me do a poem last week in Mad Monday. I think I'd... I don't know, last, no, last week? <laughs> sorry. La- <laughs> Celebrate nearly. <early> <laughs> no, la- last... Uh, la- I didn't do one last year. Sorry, I take that back. Um, but like for so our fines, early, no, this fines early this year, yeah. I did a poem. Yeah. I've that written poems before; they're easy. Cool. As I'm about to prove. Uh, let's see what Chat GPT did. It's not Chat GPT. It's way too specific. It's way too personal at you. <laughs> 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 oh, um, here we go. But I am, yeah. I, the only reason I've got this in front of me is because I do want your little intro because I thought it'd be a nice little plan. So anyway, here we go. Tom, it's been a pl- no, Jacob. It's been a pleasure, but you've had your turn to speak. Now it's my turn. Let's recap the week. It was a very short week for the Orange team. A quick turnaround after a game winner from Green. <laughs> we, tra- we, tra- we travelled up north to play the boys from Brisbane Town and after a very slow start, there was a big, big sound. The first quarter was rubbish. To our fans, I say sorry. You're not the only ones who were starting to worry. But luckily for us, we had the big man to my right. The competition's key defenders are now shaking in fright. He and his mate Darcy were dynamic in the last. I'm glad I'm not guarding Jonesy. He's way too damn fast. But that's enough for the game. I'll shift my focus elsewhere. Let's move on to the m- with the bleached and permed hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's waited for this moment for a few episodes now. He thought writing a poem was tough, but I thought I'd show him how. There was money on the line and we know I don't lose bets. Last time he tried me, he got my name tatted on his chest. Wow, he's he loves to complain and act like writing this poem is a chore. I pumped this out in 10 minutes at lunch and it low-key was a bore. <laughs> Jacob, you're a fool. All you do for the pod is control the sound. I'm surprised your arms can reach the controls and your feet can't touch the ground. <laughs> Bro, this is getting way too <laughs> Keep going. You're meant to be a social media guru who's turned our Insta to gold from rubble. All you've actually managed to do is get me into trouble. (laughs) Your tips and tricks are fraudulent. All those birthday texts you post are fake. For the Swans and Pies fans, I think you need to give them a little break. In all seriousness, you're a gun. You're the best in the biz. Without you, this podcast would actually be really shiz. (laughs) (laughs) Tom Highmore and Liam Tuddy can have their weekly shout out on our show. 
I'd also like to give another one. Shout out to Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've carried on for a while now. My pen game cannot be stopped. I hope I've shown you your palm stuff can very easily be topped. So I'll wrap myself up and say, thank you for testing me again. It's another thing you can't beat me at, but hey mate, we can still be friends. Thank you all to our, thank you to our listeners of In The Green Room. You know how much we love you. Send us to all your friends and family on any major streaming platform and watch us on YouTube too. <laughs> that was very, very, very well done. So, mate, what did you think about that? Honestly, how long did that? Like, I long? promise you, it took me the reason. You did not that. You did not write that at lunch. I swear to God, I wrote that at lunch. That's why I said we couldn't that do it at lunch. Talent. <laughs> is that why? Because you still haven't done the poem. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was very good. Does very that burn good. you a little bit? That hurts. A few things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot better than I thought. <laughs> it was a lot better than yeah, I anticipated. That was actually very, very good. Like I tried to tell you, I could. A few questionable rhymes. <laughs> you You'll lose points for the start with sloppy. Which one? Same that t- I said Tom and then Jacob. Yeah, and uh, then you said like shiz. That was like the no, middle. That's that was fine. middle to end. But also, I deliberately said it anyway. Like yeah. keeping it clean. You're up to the critique. Um, no, it was good. Yeah, you didn't like as well. Yeah, I came in pretty hot with the the boys. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I <laughs> cads. <laughs> Was like you know the meme of like all those kids go. Whoa! Yeah. That was genuinely cats. <laughs> oh, you know those old memes are super hot fire when he's yeah. doing the rap battles. Cats yeah. <laughs> legit. Le- like he just checked on my welfare halfway through that. No, like, I should, bro. Like, that was. Like, <laughs> Do you hear him? You'll be able to hear him when you listen back. That he's like, so hey, bro, you're going to be personal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's heard any of the other so, ones. So you didn't think that I could? No. What I think you've done is start a war. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, because I no, have been now protective. You, mate, you're too good. It's but like the, the second ruck star. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're too good at it. You yeah, you don't want to be good at the second yeah. ruck because then it's like you got to keep doing it. Oh, yeah. so you want to keep doing it? No. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm happy to. Like I said, it takes me 10 minutes. But <laughs> I, 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 10. I told you every poem you've done, I said, get personal. And that's why I, I got personal. Yeah. That's good. I'll tell you what. <laughs> From this day on. Till next time we record the podcast. I was gonna bring I up, will be writing. <laughs> I was gonna bring the up some love life stuff, but then I thought the same applies to me. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you know too much. Yeah. Um no. I am impressed. I'm gen- genuinely you've started a war. Like I'm gonna come so hard in it. So you've got no like, I actually probably wouldn't rock up. <laughs> I'm happy to come, mate. Like I said, I want it to be personal. Yeah, go like hard. I'm going so hard. Go, I like, told him to go hard. Go stuff that they would not believe. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're even. right. <laughs> Don't just go, go for appearance. It. Go, go for it. This is exciting. <laughs> go, mate. Like I've I've mate, been in trouble before multiple feeling, times. Sorry. Oh, I could get fired next week. <laughs> the whole thing is just got to be like mic drop. <laughs> Gaynor leaves the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Daily Mail will have a field day. Uh, all right, Cads, we've got to give it a score out of ten. His his poem. His poem. That was a solid eight and a half. Take that. Oh, uh, eight because the delivery, like you started. Yeah. See, a bit, but if like, we the delivery, the delivery was bright lights, soft. man. Bright if lights. If we compare some of your eights, that's a pretty harsh eight. You've no, got my some, eights have been good. You've got some fraudulent eights. All right, mate. You've rocked up once and done a good all right poem. All right, I do it every week. <laughs> Again, like I said, I could, I can keep panning him. I'll give you a. <laughs> I'll give you a nine, a reluctant nine. Um, thank you, mate. Because it was pretty that. good. I, uh, I don't like how minimal effort you put in, but, but considering it normally takes me a while. <laughs> That's just called raw talent. No. <laughs> talent. Oh. Need to advertise for a new co-host. Um, <laughs> a nine, no, thank good. you very much. Yeah, I'll take that. I appreciate nine. that. Nine's, yeah, nine solid. Nine solid. I appreciate that, boys. I'm excited to see what you come up with next week. Oh, next oh. week. You're not ready. <laughs> You're not re- In my head, I've already got eight things. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be exciting. Like, legit might bring a tissue box because you're going to cry. People will be excited to hear it, I'm sure. Because your like, grandparents listen to this, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I wouldn't be expecting a gift at Christmas time, man. I'm going, I'm going to ruin some relationships here. Oh, man. Uh, no, well, well done, Tom. Uh, Cads, a massive thank you for coming on. Thank you very much, thank Big you. Daddy. Um, again, well <laughs> Daddy played on the K. weekend. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, worth the wait. Yeah. Worth the wait. What yeah. wait? Well, it's just like Cads. the, the build-up. It's up like he's arrived. Of, yeah. yeah, that's cometh true. Cometh the moment, cometh the Cadman. Yeah, yeah I did see all that stuff. That's good. It's yeah. a pretty good caption. <laughs> you didn't even use captions, yeah. man. You can't come oh. at me tomorrow. <laughs> 
That's what you should have like, done. You, you to- acted like like I kicked seven though. Like <laughs> that's <laughs> literally my job. <laughs> yeah, literally I my know, job. I know. I know. It was a bit. Of my carry job on, is to promote like, you. I, I did like it. That was nice. Thank you very much for that. No, you're welcome. That Thanks was for the, yeah the week. Yeah, Thank you're you. welcome. <laughs> you didn't mean that at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, but right. That's it. No more. Well, uh, well, you'll get a clip out of this. Oh yeah. So that's one, one more. You clip my poem. I'll clip the poem. Yeah, that's right. that also sits uneasy with me because I know it's going to go well, yeah. <laughs> and I never clip my poems. But next, you know what? Two weeks in a row, I'm clipping the poem. Sure. Um, also, before we go, mm. before you do your little outro, I had to deliver a report today for Speedo yeah. for our content that we did for him. Mm. Guess how many impressions we had? I don't want to go overs and make. Don't it go. Sick. Yeah, don't go overs. <laughs> uh, Let's shoot low. Five thousand. Five thousand. Close. 1.16 million. Are you serious? Impressions on our swim. No Bro, way. You're 1.6 million. Million. Wait, how, are you serious? What, explain an impression. Like, so like that's like people it, engaging and looking at the like content. Watching it. Watching it. What, the, the video views the, was 1.13 million. The swim. Is that like. Across the, all parts. Are platforms. you talking about the swim or like. Well, just the, like, the tattoo bet, the swim and getting the tattoo. 1.13 million views. That's insane. I had no idea it had that sort of reach. This podcast is capable of some pretty powerful things. Shot yeah, well, but again, that's I, good though because it was yeah, what yeah. Say, I was gonna. I thought I was gonna say like fifteen thousand. I was. Gonna, I was, well, I was gonna say like ten k. I was even gonna say like oh, because I I feel like I rough in your impressions. But I was gonna say like oh, a hundred k maybe. But I was yeah. like I didn't want to say that and then no. have to be like oh, I was thirty thousand. It's like oh, okay. Well, and usually when you do like a sponsored thing, it never usually does no. as well. Mm. But wow, that was insane. There you go, crazy, That's cool. crazy numbers. Any yeah. other sponsors? Um, shout yeah, out to Speedo. Shout out to Speedo. <laughs> and stay tuned for a very exciting ad. Yeah, coming up. Uh, I showed Cads and Tom beforehand. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's great. Uh, it's actually pretty Mate, good. It's, it's well put together, and mm. it is very it well. well put together. Yeah. Watch. Uh, keep your eyes on Jacob Gaines socials for that. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I'll post yeah. through. Um, Tom, you want to do the little outro? Yeah, sure. Actually, wait, before you go, Cads, have you meant to do Fit Club? I was meant to, yeah. What time uh, is it? Duh, it's only half an hour late. <laughs> 40 minutes. That'd be right. They're probably done. Can now. you explain before we go to Tom's outro what Fit Club is and what you do? I know fit what Club. Fit Club is. So no, not to you, to the viewers. Oh, well, you did you said to Tom. Club. But anyways. Did I? Yes. Yeah. Anyways. There's um, <laughs> 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 a divide. So, yeah, just a <laughs> we need Cads back every week. Um, yeah, well, I basically just run a session for people like Gainer. Um, like the people, the Staff. people, the, yeah, the, <laughs> that make me sound like Fat <laughs> Club. <laughs> I was just about to say, I was just about to say, the people, people trying like, to lose yeah, weight. Exactly <laughs> I don't like that term. <laughs> no, nah, like the the staff and the like executive side of yep. the building. Um, just like run a fitness class, like whether it's a cross train, like a bit of fitness, bit of gym work, just play some games, some soccer, footy, like just basically some physical activity. Get you up and going. It gets you away from the desk. Yeah. Mm. And it's think, so fun. Yeah, I think it's good fun. We get the music going, play a couple of games. It's a great concept. Yeah. Yeah. Class. You do a good job. Thank very you. Very good job. Thank you very much. Uh, Tom, sorry. Outro. Yep. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, to Cads. Thank you for coming on. Uh, and thank you very much to all our In The Green Room listeners. We absolutely love having you. We'd be nowhere without you. And apparently, we've got a million of you now. So uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Uh, continue to send in your questions and all. It makes the podcast what it is. Uh, make sure you send this to all your friends and family on all major streaming platforms and all our favorites. Watch us on YouTube. So make sure you get to that. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.